Hi everyone, this is Balaji from Tronius. In this video, we'll cover some useful tips and tricks when you're setting up monitoring on our Tronius Snap Inverter. In order to access the data manager card, there are uh, two IP addresses that can be used. So the IP address to access the Tronius data manager card via the Wi-Fi access point is 192.168.250.181. And in order to access the data manager card via this IP address, the IP switch on the data manager card has to be in its default position, which is P. In order to access the data manager card via LAN connection, the IP address is 169.254.0.180. So you'll basically need a laptop or a computer and run a LAN cable from it and connect it to the LAN port on the data manager card. And the IP switch on the data manager card has to be in the position A. So when it's on position A, the Wi-Fi access point status will say it's read-only. When using a Wi-Fi network as an internet source to the Fronius data manager card, uh, please always make sure that you first connect your smart device to that Wi-Fi network and make sure you're able to access internet by visiting any web page. There are four LED lights on the data manager card a cross, a tick, a globe, and a Wi-Fi connection LED. So the cross LED indicates the status of the solar net ring. So if it's green, then the status is okay. If the cross LED is red, um, please check if the two RJ45 plugs are connected to the uh, inverter. Or in a worst case scenario, it could also be an issue with um, the reservo board of the inverter. The tick LED uh, indicates the status of the hardware or software on the data manager card. Green indicates the status is okay. If it's red, then it could possibly indicate that there is a failure with the data manager software update or a hardware issue with the data manager card. The globe LED indicates if there is a valid internet source to the data manager card. So if the globe LED is green, then it means it's connected to a valid internet source and it's sending data to the Fronius Solar Web Server. If it's red, it means it's not connected to an internet source and it may not send any data to the Solar Web Server or there could be a possible firewalling issue on the router or the proxy server. The Wi-Fi connection LED indicates the status of the Wi-Fi access point. If it's blinking green, it means the Wi-Fi access point is active. If it's solid green, it means uh, there's a valid Wi-Fi connection between the data manager card and the router. If all the LEDs on the data manager card are blinking, then it indicates the data manager card is starting up or booting up. Sometimes when you're trying to set up the monitoring and trying to activate the Wi-Fi access point, it may not be available. In those cases, please check if the two RJ45 plugs are connected to the inverter. If you are unable to connect your smart device to the inverter's Wi-Fi access point by entering the default password 12345678, then please restart the inverter or do a master slave reset on the data manager card by flicking the master slave switch from master to slave. Wait for a few seconds and then put it back to master. So please note, when you do this step, then the Wi-Fi access point may take up to a minute to be available. If you get the following error message, CGI failure, the server is sending no response when setting up the monitoring on the Fronius data manager card then you need to clear the cache memory on the web browser. And in order to clear the cache memory on an iOS device, you simply go into the settings of the iPhone and then scroll down to Safari and then choose clear history and website data. When setting up the monitoring on a Fronius data manager card, make sure that you complete the visit till the very end. If the visit is not completed till the very end, the data manager card may lose its date and time settings. This can be verified by clicking on the analysis tab and you will find the date and time settings of the data manager card under the real time tab. If the date and time settings are lost or if not up to date, then there will be no archive data on the energy balance graphs on SolarWeb. If your system remains offline on Fronius SolarWeb after completing the monitoring setup visit, 
to the following steps. Activate the Wi-Fi access point on your Fronius inverter and then connect your smart device to it. The default password is 12345678. Once connected, open a web page on your web browser and type in the IP address 192.168.250.181 and this will take you into the PV system overview page. And once you reach the PV inverter homepage, click on settings on the right hand side of the page. And under settings, go to choose Fronius Solar.web. And under Fronius Solar.web, make sure that send real time data to Fronius Solar Web is set to yes. If it's set to no, please change it to yes. And please make sure that you click on the tick to save these settings. And then go to choose network. And under network, you got to choose the connection mode as internet via WLAN if you're using a Wi-Fi network. And then you got to check if there is a host name assigned under the dynamic IP settings. So choose your Wi-Fi network and click on configure WLAN IP. And there under the dynamic IP settings, check if there is a host name. If the host name is blank, enter a host name there. Please note, the host name shouldn't have any spaces or special characters in it. Once the host name has been entered, click on the tick to save these settings. If the system remains offline on SolarWeb after performing these checks, check the firewall settings on your router, as this may block some of the ports required by the data manager card to communicate to the SolarWeb server. Make sure that the firewall settings allow UDP traffic. If the system is offline on Fronius Solar Web, it doesn't mean that your inverter is not generating any power. The inverter may still be generating power and this can be verified on the inverter's display by accessing the Now menu. It's also a good practice that you carry a laptop with a LAN port on it so that uh, if you experience any issues with your iPhone or your Android devices, you can start using your laptop and then complete the monitoring setup. In the monitoring setup, you may receive the following notification on your smart device and the device may require you to use mobile data. When this notification appears, please choose keep trying Wi-Fi. Alternatively, you can turn off the mobile data or set your device to airplane mode. Uh, if you like our videos, please uh, follow us on our Facebook page and also on our YouTube channel for more tips and tricks.